see we can all, not only access God from a book beyond the book he lives in me and he provides an infrastructure an infrastructure that I can get with which I can receive a feedback from him whether my work with him is accurate or not and that's through the facility of your conscience and just in case God is not pleased one of the things he does is that he registers his displeasure on your conscience your conscience happens to be like a meter a barometer are you with me that gives you a possibility of knowing how God feels about your actions your decisions about the things you want to do he is living and if you walk with him long enough you would have seen him express his displeasure sometimes express his joy in your vessel sometimes and those of you that know the ways of spiritual warfare you may have come to experientially discern what the scriptures meant when he says that the joy of the Lord is my strength now if you don't know that experientially don't claim you know that scripture it's only it's only on the experiential plane that we can understand and take full in inventory of the meaning of what that scripture holds the scriptures were written from an experiential perspective and the reason why it is like that is because when God begins to deal with you that's when you begin to understand some scriptures you will need an experience first in order for you to find a witness within the scripture and it is because of this that the Bible says that the letter killed but so when a generation like ours come a generation that is low on experience philosophers invade the pulpit and begin to sell ideas that are not consistent with scripture the devil is taking advantage of our ignorance in the holy wrath and that's why there's so much commotion in the body of Christ but the only way to eradicate falsehood is to create an atmosphere for people for people to be navigating on the path of spiritual progress because if every one of us has an encounter with God it will be is impossible for you to manipulate a man that has an encounter you know you know the kind of churches we run today they thrive because of the ignorance of the congregation because the, the pastor becomes threatened when a few members in his congregation can hear God meanwhile in the book of Acts chapter 13 there was a high service and in that high service God was setting apart two functionaries to live church life and to go into apostolic missions the Holy Spirit himself spoke that's the only scripture I can use in the entire Bible to reveal how that it is possible for God to utter his counsel without a medium audibly in the congregation my question to you is when last did you see a service that was held and the revelation that drove the service was that the Holy Spirit has revealed that pastor is a Siri pastor Warren there is a work I have for them so we are releasing them the height of apostolic ministry was to mature people so that they can be released into their destiny meanwhile our practice of church life today is to keep men perpetually in a charismatic zoo and they are sentenced to a life of ignorance and immaturity somebody in the congregation is asking by what authority do I, do I say the things I say Ooh, if you have never met the one that sent John the Baptist to baptize you 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 are short of the personality to question me in such matters just in case you are in ministry I, I came to tell you beforehand in the next five years your tricks your manipulations will no longer be able to hold these people the prison house will break and we will escape those are the days you will discover how treacherous ministry is when you are pastoring people that can hear God you yourself if you have not heard God you remain there in the closet remain there. then we'll know that it's not a show that there's a river 
that flows from the mountain of God and just in case it has not influenced you you will be incapable in bringing perspective to the lives of men that have been drinking of that source in their closet if truth begins to reign falsehood dies a natural death 